Hello, 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 and welcome back to Undertale, the game where we have learned to be slightly less aggressive in video games. We are going to go ahead and continue. We have reached Snowden Town, and uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've played this now because I've been recording stuff in batches, and I realized, oh my goodness, I have to get this up. So I'm actually recording this like the night before it's going out, which is amazing. We've saved our game, and I last time, oh, use the, yes, use the box. Oh, okay. Uh, there, let's steal stuff from the box. All right, because this box transports all around. Yeah, I'm trying to reorient myself. Now, this is something we didn't last time. Oh, whoa. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Yeah, so this is what happened last time. We became friends with this guy. We, we fought him, and so you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special, a place I like to spend a lot of time. All right. We're going on a date. With a skeleton. All right. My house! <laughs> Seriously? All right. We'll go into his house. In a probes. Oh my godness. What is going on up there? You got some flames shooting out the bottom of that door. Your house is on fire. This is going to be a very steamy date, I can tell. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program. MTT. Color bars. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Alrighty. Should we play, is this chess or checkers? Oh, no, that's a whole room. Oh, okay. That is an interesting map solution. What is this? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's sit on the couch. I touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Wow, that has a lot of loose coins. What's this book? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes, of course. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics books was another joke book. You look inside. There's another, oh my God, it's super positioned. I decide to stop. Should we talk to the, yeah. Welcome to scenic my house. <laughs> Enjoy and take your time. All right. Um, let's look at the painting first. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones? All right. Um, actually, what is this? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Of course, why didn't I? Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move. Oh, no. These are the notes. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Alrighty. <clears throat> my brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche but filled with sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. All right. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it at any time. All right. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. All right. Uh, Aha! Interested in my food museum. Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. <laughs> the other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. And impressed, I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Lovely. Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. I wish people would stop plaguing my life with incidental music. So can, we, can we catch it? No, it, it, it's it's gone. Sorry, I tried. All right, so let's let's go into let's sneak in. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Oh man, no. Let's let's go chill with the slightly less intense brother. The door is locked. Oh. Okay. I guess this is just gonna be really awkward for everybody now. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. 
This is a dating sim. Cool. Like, we'll play computer games. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Um. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Alright. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Oh, good that you remember that. That's my bed. If I ever get to- oh, uh, why did I click on the bed? If I ever get to the surface, I like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. You have miniatures. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Gary Gygax? Santa! Oh, okay. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> All right. Um, book. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. All right, um, should we actually talk to you directly now? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Uh, no, let's look in the door. Take your time, I'll wait for you. Oh, man, this is... There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. So, okay. Yeah, let's, let's look. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. All right. I guess we have to start the date. Yep. All right. Yep. The, the date begins. Okay. Dating start. What? Oh, God. Well, okay. Dating start. It's combat time. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. Neither have I, man. I promise. D don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We are ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating HUD. Okay. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Wowee. I feel so informed. Crime? Crime, egg, reel it in population. Okay. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Okay, sure. R really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head? You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Uh, sure. No! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm winning the date. Totally winning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. Oh no, tension is rising. <laughs> I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never shall be, never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Oh my god. Alright, um... I feel like I should be friendly. No! A genuine compliment! Aha! I'm winning the date. Oh, I'm totally winning the date. That means that I get to set the pace of the date and it doesn't have to go all in approps, right? Because skeletons and bones... Yeah. You don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Uh, okay. 
Is it the hat? Oh, we can inspect with Z. My hat, my hat, my hat. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, oh wow, I'm really good at this. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present, a present just for you. All right. What? It's spaghetti. It's spaghetti. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Uh, okay. I take a small bite. My face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah, erg. No. Okay, phallic icony symbol -y, maybe, sort of. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been from, or maybe this is like, these seem like song lyrics. It's all been for my sake. I don't know. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy. It is, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh shoot, human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. All right, we survived that encounter. Good, good, good job, us. Um, so now we now we have a cell phone. We can call Toriel. That's that's just gonna end in sadness. But nobody came. Um now we can call Papyrus. Let's ring Papyrus. Ring, ring. You're in my house. Good choice. Though I guess it's technically Sans's houses too. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is... It's like another world. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. Alrighty. Um, so I'm not sure what we're supposed to do next. We did, we did spend some time exploring the town. I think there were places we could go upwardly. Um, but yeah, I guess we've now... Finished the Snowden adventure, so I guess let's see. Nope. That's the end of that. Um Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> uh, what is the mustache? Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. What the heck is alright. Oh, hello. Ooh. I can't, I can't talk to him. Okay, I can't get over there. Interesting. Um, I wonder, so we, we, we went out in this, uh, rightwardly, this eastern direction, and we found Papyrus, but maybe now that we've done the Papyrus encounter, we can just continue off in this direction indefinitely. Oh, there are those, uh, there are those ice cubes that they're throwing around. Uh, nope. Things are getting frigid. Aha! Aha! We're advancing. All right. So, yeah, presumably we still want to try and get to the surface, I guess? We don't really have a mission now, but... Okay. People, hello. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> 
This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. All right, well, that's good to know. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. All right, I am determined. Hey, Sans. Uh, what? Haven't seen? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah, let's go to Grillby's. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Cool. Oh, we're going back. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Hey, Sans. Greetings, Sans. I don't know. Hi, Sansy. I don't remember all the character voices we had for these now. Oh, man. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Oh, okay. Sometimes we're just put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? A burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. Burg? All right. So, what do you think of my brother? Uh, let's be nice. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Alright, burgers! Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes, of course I want ketchup. Bon appetit! Uh -huh -huh. I tip the ketchup? Oh, okay, I thought, yeah. Yes, I will leave a tip for the ketchup. No, the cat falls off and the ketchup in the bottle pours all over the food. Oops. Ah, oh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Okay. Oh, he's scratching his butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went through the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she just shut the door on him because it was midnight, but the next day, she woke up and saw he was still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Spotlight! Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. <gasps> Suspicious! Well, uh, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? Ah, uh, It's just a th 10,000 G. Yes. Just kidding. Groovy, put it on my tab. Alright. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, okay. The jukebox is broken. Capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're gonna start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slipping on their butts. All right. Um. All right. So what are, what are we supposed to be doing? I guess is a big question. So someone is someone is thwarting Sands. I guess we could we could I guess go continue on the way that we had been going and see if we can just get further. Oh, no, that's not, I was like, oh, Echo Flower. Let's investigate. We'll go past, past the super frigid place where we found, uh, 
where we where we got into into a fight with papyrus and there we go the underwater secret base place and echo flower all that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower no one can know <laughs> Okay, that's a that's an interesting concept. Sound of washing water fills us with determination. Good, we'll save. And we'll continue on our way this time. <gasps> a sign! This is a box! You can put an item or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. All right, whoa, no! Ha ha! Okay, that's cool. An echo flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Ooh. Well, that is an important tip. Maybe. Nope. 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 Okay. Um, nothing down here. Okay. So we'll go back up and then see if there's something behind that rushing water, right? Just have to dodge stuff. Nope. Nope. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! There is a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Obviously. We well, you got the old tutu. Let's wear the old tutu. For no, I don't know what we're doing. Use. I equipped the old tutu. Hooray. I don't feel any different. I guess, is there nothing that these things do? I don't entirely, well, we may learn at some later point. Oh no, okay. We will continue on our way. <gasps> there is a deep and dark shadow. What is this? <gasps> Oh my goodness. <gasps> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh, did I fight them? Y yes, uh, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What, did I capture them? Uh, well, <clears throat> no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see... I, I understand. I'll help you in any way that I can. <gasps> Betrayal! Oh, uh-oh. Uh, oh, God. What did I just do? Come on. No, oh, run, 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 run away. Oh no, oh God, no, dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, come on, what's, what? Um, oh, okay, he just wanted to threaten me, I guess. <gasps> Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was, Awesome! I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Haha! <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. What? Who was staring at what? What? Who was staring? Is Papyrus female? I don't think. A, no. A f no. Papyrus isn't female because he's the brother. Ah! A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. All right. We must escape before we get murdered by Papyrus and Undyne. But of course, that will have to take place in the next episode, and I will see you then. What a betrayal! What will happen next? Tune in next week for this exciting conclusion. Something. I don't know. <laughs> have a good one. Cheers. <laughs>